This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dmitry with Hardware Canucks and GTC is not only about visiting seminars and going to talks to hear how GPUs are used in this world to progress science and to move our understanding of multiple plethora of things, but they're also about showing off really awesome technologies that are uh, sort of available for us to interact with as well on the show floor. So here we do a quick rundown of some of the coolest cars that we saw here at GTC 2015 in San Jose. And so the first car that is in your face is the Renova Coupe. We spoke with them about what uh, the car represents, what it means for direction of future automobile industry and how Drive CX or Drive PX is used and how the Nvidia Tegra X1, the latest uh, Tegra chip, is being utilized inside this car. Uh, in the background we have our first product, the Renovo Coupe. It's an all-electric American sports car. Uh, it has over 500 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it can go 0 to 60 in under 3.4 seconds. Um, our focus as a company is really around bringing the electric drivetrain to the performance world, and we're, we're really excited. We think this is the future of performance. The car itself has uh, over 80 processors, about 1,000 sensors. All of that data is being live-streamed up to the cloud. We, uh, we have over-the-air updates that come back down again. We really think the future of the car is basically a data center on wheels. So we we've architected the system kind of around a platform that thinks in those terms. It's, uh, it's really changing the way that cars are being built. And you're seeing a lot of companies that are starting to adopt that philosophy more. Specifically, uh, we're here at the GTC, the GPU Technology Conference, uh, with the invitation uh, from NVIDIA. Um, they're one of our partners. We started working with them a few months ago. Right now, we're, dr we're running uh, Drive CX on the center gauge cluster. And then on the infotainment, the center console, we're actually using their latest uh, X1 chip, which uh, isn't available yet on the pub uh, in, the, in the public market. Um, has over a, a teraflop of processing power. One of the great things about the platform that NVIDIA is providing is it really is a full platform. It starts with the hardware layer, moves up into the software stack, and it really enables companies like ours to actually innovate and bring world-class graphics and a world-class experience uh, to our customer. And uh, we think that technology should include the, the, the human-machine interface. And so um, that's something where the partnership with NVIDIA really enables us to bring their technology to the road a lot faster than the larger OEMs can do. You know, our, our design cycles are, are measured in months, where you know the larger OEMs are they're measured in, in years or you know close to decades. So um, we're excited about being part of uh, part of the story. Unfortunately, I did not get to go inside the Renova Coupe and sit inside of it, but they opened the door for me <laughs> so I could uh, take some pictures and videos of it. Uh, but it looks gorgeous, as you can see from the footage. Uh, but I also got to do something really fun and get inside the BMW i3, an electric car that uh, was my first time driving an electric car. And whoa, what a difference. First of all, one of the things that I noticed is when you release the, the gas pedal or the, the accelerator pedal, because there's no longer gas in there, the car starts to slow down, like almost something starts to break, but there's no power going into it. So that was one of the first things that I realized that you really have to keep your foot on the pedal uh, in order to actually accelerate into something. And on the show floor, we also got to see the NVIDIA Drive PX system sort of blown up. It was just uh, installed inside a simple frame of vehicle where the cameras were operational. You could actually see yourself in the cameras and all that, uh, the entire system for video will be incorporated into the car for safer driving, to knowing your surroundings, and be future integrated with augmented reality and augmented assistance for driving, realizing how much space you have in front of you, behind you on the sides, so you don't crash, or there's some type of sensors that would assist for braking or automatic braking uh, in the future in case there is uh, a collision that is expected. And lastly, there was a Lamborghini around, this beautiful red. I'm not sure exactly what it was doing there, but it was powered by NVIDIA, beautiful car. Then there was an Audi, which was beautiful as well. Couldn't get inside of it, unfortunately. And lastly, the BMW, which was gorgeous. I mean, that car is just so futuristic. I really want to give it a spin now, now that I've been inside the i3. And uh, the future of driving really looks promising. I really can't wait to see 
exactly how far we advance in a year from now in the GTC 2016. So thank you so much for watching our GTC coverage. We hope you enjoyed. I uh, definitely had a blast uh, trying out and speaking with all the guys uh, about these cars and what exactly they represent for the future of driving because it definitely looks promising. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.